congratulations to all the candidates who won the award. You know, I can never apply for the academic award. It's just too hard. Congratulations to all the winners. And don't give up for future awards, as everyone is smart in their own way. And there are various categories that can best represent you. That's a valid point. If you're a high school student next year, apply for the Cantide Awards of Excellence 2022 to 2023. The next performance is a duo that is so talented who can sing, and another one can play the keyboard. Together, they both sound angelic. Let's give the stage for both Samidi Yohanalan and Christina Tangaraja. Pencils in your hair? It's not pencils, it's pence. But don't you get it? The next presentation is a pen tapping performance. No, oh, I guess I'll introduce that. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for another performance made by a rapper and a pen tapper, which they're an amazing duo when they're together. I would like to introduce Bonigan Yoga Dawson and Methusa Srinivasuria. Bridges, his hands are charred. Smile on his face, but no, no scars. He ain't asked for none. 
the go get him. Whatever he do, he trying to do better. Tough of time, but it's cold weather. Losing his mind, nigga, like break his feathers. It's a cold body, walking with the North Pole. Mind is power, he ain't looking at your toy so Dead inside, it's the same with the dark coat. Starting getting high. Anytime he start low, try to find the sun, but his head from the clouds. Push it the right way, he going next to mine. Living in the moonlight like a rock pie. Getting by me today, kind of feel tired. Life gave me so much problem, but he ain't asking why. He sees his brother smile, but it's up. Let's try. He ain't got no love for the other side. He ain't got no love. He broke it inside. Let's give him so much problem, but he ain't asking why. He sees his brother smile, but it's up in the sky. He ain't got no love for the other side. He ain't want no love, he broke it inside. Wow, that was amazing. I never knew he had this much skill. It was popular back in those days. I had to hop on the trend. Wait, back in those days? We ain't even that old. I'm 18, you're 17, I'm an adult now, which becomes with a huge responsibility. And we should start to focus on our future career pathways and prioritizing by taking care of ourselves and our mental health. Speaking about taking care of our body, next up we'll be announcing the winners of the Athletic Award. The winner of the Grade 10 Athletic Award is Vasagi Thayangananda Raja. Hi guys, my name is Vasagi and I'm currently 16 years old in Grade 11 attending high school at RH King Academy. The award I've received was the Grade 10 Athletic Achievement Award, which I'm very grateful for being rewarded with. I want to thank Cantide for providing us with this opportunity to be recognized and acknowledged for our hard work. For those of you who don't already know me, I would describe myself as outgoing, athletic, and an ambitious student. I try to manage my time wisely and prioritize my school life, and then come sports and extracurriculars. I'm always down to try new things, especially when it's related to sports. Some sports that I love to play include basketball, soccer, volleyball, you name it, I've probably played it. I've been playing sports since I was very young, from maybe 6 years old. Ever since then, I've been in love with being healthy and keeping my body fit. In grade 9, I was part of the girls' ice hockey team, and we placed second in our region. I also placed third in our region in track and field, the event 400 meters. I enjoy participating in both team and individual sports, and regardless of the situation, I strive to do well and succeed. My overall goal as an athlete is to become a better athlete than I was the year before. I want to push myself and reach new limits. I hope to pass this on to younger generations and inspire them to play sports too. One of the first skills I learned as a kid was skating, and now the skill has become the basic requirement for my job. I now work on the ice rink. I supervise young children on the ice, teach skating lessons, and maintain the ice. I'd overall love to wrap up saying I'm grateful for this award and recognition for my hard work. So thank you so much. The winner of the Grade 12 Male Athletic Award is Devarkar Nadaraja. Hello, my name is Div and I recently graduated from Winston Churchill Collegiate Institute. I've been privileged enough to be selected as the recipient of Cantide's Grade 12 Athletic Achievement Award. Firstly, I'd like to start off by recognizing the Canadian Tamil Youth Development Center for making any of this possible. In a little over the last two decades, Cantide has built a program to enable Tamil youth to excel in different areas of life. They provided students like me with a great deal of support and opportunities to ultimately pursue our ambitions. On behalf of Tamil Youth in Toronto, thank you to everyone with connections to this inspiring organization. When I had first been told that I was named the winner of this award, I took some time to meditate on all I've accomplished as an athlete over the years. I started playing sports in just the sixth grade and haven't stopped since. During high school, I participated on a multitude of sports teams, including cross country, track and field, basketball, frisbee, and more. I'm very grateful to have met all my teammates and coaches who surely contributed to me becoming a better athlete over the years. Personally, my most valuable achievement as an athlete goes beyond just a single trophy or medal. It's actually having the opportunity itself to compete that has been the most rewarding to me. I never realized how much I took this for granted until the pandemic hit. 
For me, sports hold a lot of meaning. It's had a significant impact on shaping me as a person. I've been provided with the chance to learn many different lessons and develop various skills that have been useful to me outside of just sports. I've learned to lead by example, develop discipline, and sharpen my social skills. These are tools that I'll be using for the rest of my life. My high regard for sports explains why receiving the athletic achievement is such a meaningful experience for myself. It's honors such as these that remind me to continue working hard and strive for excellence. Thank you once again, Cantide, for acknowledging me as the recipient of this very special award. The winner of the Grade 12 Female Athletic Award is Harini Tayingan Andaraja. Hi, my name is Harini and I am in First Year University and I'm honored and grateful to receive the athletic Grade 12 Athletic Award for my accomplishments last year. I consider myself a hardworking athlete because I push myself to do my best in all the sports I participate in. I particularly focus on swimming and tennis over the years. And for swimming, I finished all the levels and went on to become an assistant swim instructor. I plan on continuing to work on my skills so that I can take the lifeguarding course and become a swim instructor myself. And in terms of tennis, I've also played that for many years. So I joined the high school team and my brother and I played doubles, and we were first in our region. I also worked on my skating skills so that I can become a rink guard with the City of Toronto. And I also joined field hockey and soccer in high school, and that required a lot of commitment in terms of time to make it to practices in the morning and after school. And also for me, field hockey was a new sport, so I had to learn all the skills from scratch. But over time, I became a more skilled field hockey player and our team went on to become first in our region. And that's all I have to say about myself. But I'd once again like to say I'm very thankful for this award. Congratulations to the candidates in the athletic award category. We'd like to give a warm greeting to the volunteers. Thank you for all the hard work to make this event run as smooth as possible. Now, we would like to call upon an amazing painter who can paint right through your heart. Let's give it up for Shalini and Tony Pillay.
And fun fact about Shalini is that she was part of the Orange King Arts and Culture Program. Next up, we have another youth from Youth Council performing a powerful slam poetry that will make you get goosebumps instantly. Give it up for Yatusha Kirupakaran. Betrayal, guilt, and loss. It builds up anger. An anger that you cannot shake off. An anger that takes over you. An anger that took over me. What did I do to deserve your ill behavior? What did I do to deserve all the hate that you all gave me? Was it the unlimited kindness I gave? Was it because I tried to help you with all your problems? I didn't ask for much. All I asked for was your kindness in return. But what did I receive? Betrayal, backstabbing, rumors. And then you blame me. Oh, why are you ignoring me? You've changed, they said. Yes, I've changed. Because all the hate I've received has made me change. It has made me change into a whole new different person. I have been backstabbed, not once, not twice, but multiple times. As a matter of fact, a majority of those I trusted, those who I've cared for, those who I try to protect. I kneel down to pull them up, but they reach up to pull me down. I've been pushed down so much that when I tried to stand up, it hurt. The pain was unbearable. I've been hurt physically and emotionally. I've been hurt to the point where getting up was nearly impossible. When I was down, I wasn't sad or annoyed, but I was mad. I did not deserve all that hate and betrayal. No one does. But because they hurt you, doesn't mean you hurt them. I pulled myself off. I hated myself for who I was. I hated the fact that people thought it was okay to take advantage of me. I hated the thought that I let them take advantage of me. All the pain I've experienced could never add up to the emotional trauma I've been through. You're overreacting, they said, but they didn't know the battle I was fighting. No one noticed my sadness until it turned into anger, because then I was considered the bad guy. I was not mad for failing a class or fighting with my friend, but because I've been through hell, I've had family and friends betray me. I've had everything stripped away from me, but I pulled through. Instead of letting my feelings pull me down, I fought for me. Call me an attention seeker, a drama queen, and whatnot. Because trust me, I've been called worse. I've been at my lowest for years, but I still make sure everyone else is okay before I even start to think about myself. I lost myself trying to please everyone, but then I started losing everyone while trying to find myself. I don't blame them for leaving me. I would have left myself too. I was judged for everything, my voice, my attitude, even my name. But guess what? In the end, the voice that was made fun of is the voice that's talking in front of all of you right now. Thank you.